so, so in the Bible, there's a story of a man who's paralyzed. And he's been paralyzed for years, completely, completely paralyzed. And he hears that Jesus is coming uh, to town and that he's going to be uh, doing a Sunday morning talk at, uh, <laughs> at somebody's house on the other side of town. And so he convinces four of his friends to pick him up and carry him across town and because he thinks, you know, if he can get to Jesus, he could be healed. So these four friends, and these are good friends, I got to tell you, these are really good friends, you know. Look, I don't move people anymore. You know, I used to have a truck, and I moved a million people when I had a truck. I don't have a truck anymore. Now, if you're moving, I'll tell, I say, tell me when, I'll send a pizza. You know, that'll be my, <laughs> that's my contribution to the move. I don't move people anymore. So I read this story, and first of all, I think these are really good friends. These are really good friends. They pick him up, they carry him across town, and get to the house, and they get to the house where Jesus is speaking, and it's full. The place is full. It cannot even get in the house. So frankly, at this point, I would have said, OK, change of plans. Let's get sushi. But no. The guy says, take me up on the roof. These are really good friends, i got to tell you. These are really good friends, right? And so they take him up <coughs> excuse me, on the roof, and they open up the roof. Now, at this point in the story, I think, all right, so Jesus is down the stairs, and he's talking to people and, you know, sharing the teaching and maybe doing a little bit of healing, and pieces of ceiling start falling in, you know? And people hear the noise on the roof. Do they think it's Santa Claus? Do they think it's the rain? No, probably not. Probably not. I'm confusing my stories here. But, but they lower, they lower the guy in, you know? Lower him in. So he goes from no seat at the back of the house to now he's got a, very, he's got a front row seat right in front of Jesus. You know? so, so the thing I think is that people so often give up, and it may be so much closer than we think. You know, you just have to think, well, how could I go about this differently? How could I go about this differently? And so you got to admit, that would be a pretty impressive entrance, right? And so Jesus' response is, rise, pick up your bed, and walk. And he does. You know, rise, pick up your bed and walk, and the guy does. Now, now this is interesting, I think, because did everybody get healed that day? Probably not. Probably not. You know, there are people who live next door who just wandered over. They had no faith. They had no belief. But they said, oh, let's go next door. The Manischewitzes are having Jesus over. Let's go see, you know, let's go hear what he has to say. So they walk over with their coffee and their bunny slippers. You know, they just walk across the lawn. And it's like, ah, Jesus, Schmeezes, you know, they probably did not have healing, right? But people who came away is because they had some faith and they had some belief, those are the people who got healed. So, a, you know, a faith they were willing to back up by taking some action. So, so I ask us today, are we doing everything we possibly can? You know, people want better, but they don't want to have to do anything to make it better. They just want to go, oh, why me? Why not you? Why not you, right? You know, the, the people say, well, I get so close. I almost grab the brass ring again and again. I get so close. Well, you know what? That means that the error is so close to the surface, it's ready to be healed. It's ready to be healed. But you get to the house, the house is full, and you go home. Rather than say, there, you know, I'm so close. This is not the time to give up. When you get that close, it shows you. It shows you. You're just like just a little click away in consciousness. This is not about blame. You know, if, if it's up to something outside of you, or if other people are in charge or in power, then you have no hope. You have no hope. This is about changing something in you. Because, you know, faith without action to back it up, it says in the Bible, that's, that's dead. You know, so I think being your best self is one of the ways that we put feet to our prayers. We show up as our best self. Whatever is ours to do on any given day, we give 100% of ourselves to what is ours to do. You know, that's, that's putting faith in action. You know, we may not see how things can happen. And people get very stuck with, oh, I don't know how this can happen at my age now. And, you know, well, for my group, my group, blah, 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 I don't know, things just don't work. I don't know how this is going to happen. How, how, how is not your business? 
how is God's business, okay? God has a million ways to bring things about, you know, but we, you know, we go and we, they're, oh, they're full. I knock on the door, it's full, there's no place for me, forget it, it's over. You know, the how is God's business. 